Ok, so let's take a look at the for else loop and understand the difference with for each. So in the index, we are showing the users with pagination, right? However, what if we do not have any user in the table? Well, except that we do not have to go through the for each loop. We do not even need to use this ul here. It makes sense, right? So how can we do this? Well, one solution is to count the users, and if we have users, then we go through the for each loop. Let me show you. Before ul, I will say if count users greater than zero, so if we have users, and then we will say else, and we of course have to close this. So in the else, I will create a new paragraph, and I will say no users available. Inside the if now, what I will do is to copy the ul, cut it, and put it inside the if. Perfect, so this is now your code. You have the if statement, which counts if we have any user. If we do, then we go through the process of displaying the users. Otherwise, we just display a message that says no users available. The problem is that we actually have some users, so we cannot really test the else statement here. Which means that we have to run migrate refresh. If you remember, I have said that migrate refresh will delete all the tables and create them again. However, you will have no data in the tables, at least in the users table. So do not get confused with PHP Artisan Migrate Refresh and PHP Artisan DBC. The first one will delete and recreate the tables. The second one, if you remember, will go in the database header file and execute whatever is inside the run function. For now, PHP Artisan Migrate Refresh is enough. So go to a new tab, PHP Artisan Migrate Refresh. Good, so now let's make sure we have zero users. So if I go to my database and I go to users table, we have zero users. If we go to the other tab now and we refresh, we see no users available. So our code worked. However, I do not really like this approach, simply because we had to do way too much. Isn't it better to simplify this a bit more so our code can get more readable? Well, say hi to for else. For else will simplify the code way too much for us. Before the if statement, I will have the new loop. So I will go here and say at for else users as user, and then I will say empty and for else. As you see, we do not have to use count anymore or to use else or to use if, none of that is necessary. Just use the for else and of course you need the empty here, which plays the role of the else statement. So as you can imagine, inside here, I will say, I will create a new paragraph, and I will say here, no users available. Pretty much whatever we had in the else statement. Now in the for else, I will copy whatever we have inside the for each loop. So just copy that and paste it inside the for else. I will also copy the ul here and paste it before the for else. And of course we have to close this. Now we do not even need this code anymore, so delete everything here. The if, the else, the for each, everything. Let's not forget to add the pagination links, so just go here, users, links. Okay, perfect, so what do we have here? We have for else, right? So for else is pretty much the same as for each. So what we do here, we loop through each user, and in case the users array is empty, then we display no users available. However, everything is done with just using for else. There is no need for if, there is no need for else, there is no need for count, none of that. So if I go back now, the result should be the same. So let's try. Again, now it says no users available. Let's create a couple of users so we have some users to test. So if I go back now, I will refresh here. Okay, now we have 100 users. So the logic was similar to for each. And the only difference is the empty here. Now this does the job for the if and the else statement in the for each. 
So to say the truth, whenever I want to display a message in case the array is empty, then I use for else. There is really no need to do extra work when you have things ready. Remember, do not reinvent the wheel.